Welcome back to my morning report analysis videos on Wednesday the 15th of February with me, Rich Perry Market Analyst at Antec Markets. My final chart of the day is gold. And I think it's gold is a bit of a surprise actually because you've seen dollar yen breaking up above 114 figure, you've seen euro dollar breaking down below 105.77. I think it's a surprise that gold is holding up. Actually, 1220 is a support. You've seen that tested on the last three days, each of which you've seen the lows within about two bucks about one buck either side of 12.20 but you've not broken down yet these momentum indicators are still relatively sort of positive aren't they so you've not seen the breakdown yet but I'm still surprised that this hasn't yet been seen because you're sort of consolidating really this is the hourly chart sort of zoom out you can see this consolidation since breaking that uptrend channel Ali RSI oscillating between sort of 13 and 17 MACD lines around neutral. So it's all sort of fairly neutral, but with a slight negative bias because obviously the consistent sort of testing of the support around 1220 with lower highs in place. So there is a, a, a slight negative bias, but yet, as yet, we have not seen 1220 broken. But below 1220, you're sort of reopening levels of sort of 12, uh, sorry, 1215. Uh, which is a, an old breakout and then became supportive. 12.07 was that spike low. Uh, if you can get a cross here on it. Come on. Anyway, 12.07 uh, was the spike low and then you're back at 12. Big, tw sorry, 1200, big figure. So um, it, it's uh, it, this support around 12.20 is, is key near term, certainly. And uh, it is holding for now, but how long it holds for with this sort of bearish bias and all the others uh, breaking down I think I'd be uh, sort of plumping for a breakdown of 12.20 in due course. So I wish you good luck in your trading today and I'll speak to you again tomorrow. Thank you.